Hey planner friends, it's Ashley. I am here to help you plan and create a life you love. If that's something you're interested in, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Today we are planning inside of my dashboard, Happy Planner. This is the planner that I use for social media. Now what I've already done is a little bit of pre-planning and I will have free pre-planning printables down below in the description box for you. You can print them out for a mini, a classic, and a big. And the best part is that you can print them out on a regular sheet of paper. You just cut them down, punch them, and pop them in your planner. And the sticker books I'm using today are the Jewel Tone Boxes and the Floral Sticker Book. And if you're new here, I just want to let you know that all of my planner supplies and stickers at this point are all from the Happy Planner. And I will link their website down below if you want to check it out. Now listen. I was watching Elizabeth from EJ Joyful Plans. I will link both her YouTube and her Instagram down below in the description box. But I was watching one of her plan with me videos and she uses, um, it's called a dashboard layout, but it's a little bit different than this one. And she had created this little chart where she was tracking her videos. And I was like, that is genius. This would be incredibly helpful. So I am trying something very similar to that in this box. Once I had the outline of the box ready, I was trying to figure out how I could cover up where it says calls and emails. And I love these little strips of, it's, it's not really washi, but it's as thin as washi. I don't know, sticker strips maybe? That's what we'll call them. I love these little sticker strips and I was going to use those, but I'd have to use two of them. And I thought that maybe a box sticker would look better, which is what I ended up going with. I did end up changing the box sticker out, but you'll see. What I'm doing here is taking the pencil and I'm trying to map out where my lines are going to go vertically and where they're going to go horizontally. And I just kind of eyeballed all this. Honestly, I wasn't, well, once I got to the left, the uh, horizontal lines, you'll see me do those here in just a second. But once I got to the horizontal lines, I was using the ruler to measure those out and that actually worked out a little bit better. So in case you decide to do something like this, use the little lines on your ruler to help you measure them out. And the way that I do that is I just count how many lines I'm doing, which <laughs> is really, really hard to explain in a voiceover, but I hope that you understand what it is that I'm talking about. You and me stuck on the ocean now, nothing but waves in this filling in. I want to dry up, but you just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here. All my reasoning have disappeared. I want to bury the hatchet and find the way back to our home, our home, our home. We don't have to drift inside this dome. I will not let us fade away. Now I haven't actually started using the box yet. It's almost time for me to dive into it, but I do have a feeling I'm gonna love it and it's gonna be something I want to repeat each week. The, I'd say the downside to doing this, and this is with any type of custom creation that you're doing each week, is the time that it takes to make it. It's gonna be super functional, but it's definitely gonna take a little bit of time to create this box every single week. We definitely need a sticker that's like this layout. Elizabeth, if you're watching this, girl, we need a sticker. <laughs> can you make us a sticker? I'll collab with you. I don't know how to make stickers, but I'll collab with you. We'll, we can try to figure it out. We'll Google it. <laughs> or we'll watch YouTube videos on how to make stickers. <laughs> I initially just wrote out the word YouTube in this box, and I decided to swap it out for a bigger box sticker because these are going to be videos for next week, as I mentioned earlier. And I want to clarify that. So I needed a bigger sticker to do that. Now, what I'm going to be tracking inside of this box is whether I film the video, if I've done my edits to it, if I've done or needed to do a voiceover, if I made the thumbnail, which I actually wrote the word cover. You'll see me write all this down in just a second. But if I um, did a thumbnail for it, and then also if I've uploaded the video into YouTube. And I think this is really going to help me and not having to constantly think like, oh crap, what do I need to do for this video? Or how do I keep track of this or whatever? So Elizabeth, 
shout out to your girlfriend because I really do believe that this is a system that is going to help me tremendously and I'm incredibly thankful that you shared it. I took this fun decorative box sticker that has some of that rose gold foiling on it, which is absolutely gorgeous. I took that sticker and I laid it down first, and then I was laying this other sticker that says Happy List down, and I plan to use this sticker to note what photos I need to take. So if you guys go back and you want to see how I fully plan out social media, like I said, I will link that video down below. But in that video, I talk about how whenever I am taking photos to post to Instagram, I don't always take them all at once. And sometimes I have photos that I need to take later on in the week. And this is where I'm going to keep a running list of those photos that I need to take. I am using these gorgeous navy blue box stickers to retitle these two sections up top. The first one that is underneath of January, that is where I will write out what YouTube videos are going to post this week. And then the other section is going to be for a general to-do list. And this is things that I need to get done for my business that are not necessarily day specific. Day specific tasks go over on the right side under the days. And um, here in just a second, I'm going to get these little dots out. They're rose gold. They're gorgeous. I love them. And I'm going to use the dots for each day of the week. And these are to note what I'm posting to Instagram. This is the system that I've been using inside of this planner for a long time, and it has worked fantastically well. So I see no, no need in changing it. The only time I like to change my planner or my planning system is whenever it's not working for me and this has been working very well and I took some of uh, these really cute blue floral stickers these are smaller ones initially I was just gonna note that on Monday night I have a team call with my health and fitness team but I loved it so much that I ended up adding a few more to it and you'll see that here in just a minute For this top section here where I'm adding this really cute floral sticker, I like to just decorate this section. There was a time whenever I used to write out what YouTube videos were going to go up what days, but what I've noticed with my style of decorating and planning is that I like to have decor on both sides and where the right side of this page is more functional for me than the left. Like, well, the left side is functional, but I decorate more on the left. That's a better way to put it. So since I decorate more on the left side, I wanted a place to be able to add a little bit more decor on the right side to kind of tie them together. So they're balanced a little bit. And this box up here is my way of doing that. Here's where I started adding more of those cute little navy blue stickers and there's also other smaller stickers that are different colors that I started adding around the planner and I think it just it made little sections of the planner popped it tied in more of the florals which are so gorgeous I need like four of these sticker books actually I need more navy blue stickers that would be amazing I never realized how well the navy blue pairs with this rose gold until I used it inside of the monthly section of my social media planner and ever since then I've been obsessed. So your girl's on the lookout for more gorgeous navy blue stickers, especially more navy blue florals because let's be honest, navy blue stickers are kind of hard to come by. They're really hard to find. The bloom sticker that I'm putting down is gorgeous and I love this one so much it has what looks like paint splatter on it which is one of my favorite things ever actually I have a tattoo that has paint splatter because I just think it looks so cool so I really love this sticker 
I want a giant sticker. I mean, literally a sticker could say the word shit on it. And if it had paint splatters, I would love it. <laughs> That's how much I really like this. Plus it's navy blue, which is um, actually the whole blue family is my second favorite colors. Now over here on the left side, that pink box that says focus, I always try to cover this up. And initially I was gonna use a decorative box sticker kind of like the navy blue and rose gold one that I put underneath of the happy list, but I felt like it was a little too much and it was too too much going on. So I opted for one of these cute little navy blue floral stickers. It doesn't fully cover up the box, but it's also not overwhelming. Does that make sense? And there's a little bit of pink shining through from behind it, but honestly, it's not that big of a deal. It kind of matches the whole grand scheme of things, so I think it turned out okay. I really, really wanted to use some of the rose gold sticker strips, so I started by outlining this box, um, which I ended up, I left that part, but I ended up adding to it. You'll see that here in just a minute. And then I also took some of the sticker strips and I added them over to the right side just to pull that in on both sides. The sticker strip that I'm using here on Thursday, I did end up later on pulling that one up and I put a longer sticker strip down. I just wanted to let you know that um, I did make a few changes to this spread, um, one of which was the sticker strip. I just made it longer. It's the same sticker strip, it's just longer. And then also for the section that I mentioned earlier that's for a general to-do list over on the left side, I did take another floral sticker and put it up the top of the box sticker that's there. But if you wanna see those little changes that I made, make sure you're following me over on Instagram. It is linked down below in the description box, but you guys can see not only um, all of my spreads, but you can also see my after the pin stuff. I give productivity tips over there, tips on planning, um, a ton of different things over there and resources and stuff. So make sure you're following me on Instagram. Here, I was initially going to put this box sticker down. I wasn't even sure what I was going to use the box sticker for, but then I thought, hey, wait a minute, this would look better if I took that decorative box sticker in the happy list and I moved it up. So that's what I ended up doing. One tip that I have for you whenever you're pulling stickers off a page, especially whenever they are layered stickers, is to go extremely slow. And if you notice that your page starts to rip, obviously don't continue pulling the sticker up. Go from the other side or at a different angle and start pulling up from there. It may end up tearing up a little bit of your page, but not as much as if you was to go faster. So it, I have this video sped up uh, for time's sake, but I pulled this up very, very slow and I didn't have any problems. Here, I'm just adding a few more of the floral stickers. I used a little bit more red down here because I was out of the blue ones, the bigger blue ones. There really wasn't that many navy blue florals inside of here. There was a few bigger ones, and uh, I mainly used all of those on my monthly section of this planner, but I did use some of the red, and I think it tied in really well with everything.
All right, my planner friends, that is going to be my social media spread for the 11th through the 17th. Like I mentioned earlier, if planning and creating a life you love is your thing, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I have some really fun videos coming up for the rest of January and honestly throughout 2021 if everything goes as planned, which I'm going to do my best to make it go as planned. Um, but that is my spread. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have an incredible day and I will see you in the next video.